This week, the Senate set to consider more of President Biden's nominations. I've consistently said the president should have latitude to staff up their administration with people of their choosing, so long as they nominate qualified and main street, mainstream individuals. <coughs> That's why I and many other Republicans have supported many of the president's mainstream nominees. Secretary Austin and Vilsack were each confirmed with more than 90 votes. Secretaries Raimondo, Yellen, and Buttigieg with more than 80. Secretary Blinken got 78 votes, including mine. Secretary Cardona and Granham, Granholm each got more than 60 votes. Even with the time spent on impeachment, half of the nominees I just mentioned were confirmed faster than President Trump's nominees to the same spots. And most of them received a more bipartisan margin now than four years ago. So this administration is receiving perfectly fair treatment from the Senate. <coughs> Frankly, the president and his team must be thrilled that Senate Republicans are proving to be more fair and more principled on personnel matters than the Democratic minority's behavior just four years ago. But the fact remains that millions and millions of Americans elected 50 Republican senators, an even split, to stand against policies and personnel who lean too far to the left. That's why many of us voted against confirming Secretary Mayorkas, who stood idly by while a major crisis has exploded on the border in just his first several weeks. Rather than confront the problem, he absurdly claims that a record number of unaccompanied children in custody, overflowing shelters, and catch and release policies during a pandemic do not actually constitute a crisis at all. Xavier Becerra, the partisan California Attorney General with no significant healthcare experience, whom the President has nominated to run Health and Human Services during COVID-19, could not even get one Republican vote to get out of committee. So Republicans will continue to distinguish between qualified Main Street people, mainstream people, and nominees who are way outside the mainstream. I've already announced I'll support Judge Merrick Garland, whose nomination to be Attorney General we will vote to advance later today. But we'll continue to fight hard against people who are the wrong choices for the key positions. We're going to shine a bright spotlight on anyone who seems more focused on far-left ideology than on serving all of the American people.